Hey y'all, Francis here, and today we are continuing on testing art products from Timu. They did send these to me for free, however, they did not pay me to do this video. Um, all opinions will be my own, and let's see what we can come up with. I got these particular items because I love to doodle. I have several books full of them, and it's kind of what I do just when I'm sitting in front of the TV. Um, I already have pens that I love. They're my go-to. I check frequently to see if they come out in new colors. Like, they're my jam. But these, I decided to give them a shot because why not? And my first mistake is that they are five 0.5 millimeters and I prefer seven but you know we're still gonna give them a shot my original plan was to do something like this but it's not gonna work out because I need a thicker line than a 0.5 so we're just gonna roll with it and see what we come up with um, these are pigment liners and I kind of showed them in my last video I didn't end up using them because it didn't work with where I went. Um, but I want to try them with this. As I was reading it, as you can clearly see, it's water-based and water-resistant. I'm no art person, but I feel like if it's water-based, wouldn't it be water-reactive? So I'm going to try that out. Uh, see <laughs> what happens. Again, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about, but... I feel like if it says it's water-based, it's probably going to react to water. Maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. Um, I think what I'm going to do first, I'm just going to pick a couple of these different sizes. And then I've just got a um, notepad here from Dollar Tree. No fancy paper. I double up because it is pretty thin. Um, we're just going to do some doodles. Some scribbles. Didn't bleed through, which is nice. Okay. Oh, I'll say, uh oh. They're not as smooth as what I'm used to, but they're also not scratchy, which is good. I just wish that the tip was a little bit thicker. So here are our colors. Is it just my camera or is this showing up really dark? I feel like it's really dark. Sorry. Readjust a little bit. Now something I did notice on this package, I was reading the back, it says easy to erase. Maybe that's just on like whiteboards, glass, that kind of thing. So I want to see if I can erase that. I'm going to let it sit for a while so that it kind of has time to soak into the paper, do its thing. Also didn't bleed through, which is good. I think... I want... I 
I'm going to go with this 0.5 just to kind of match the others. Okay, those 0.5s are not the same. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, never mind. I'm going to find one that comes closer to the same size just so they, they don't stand out too much. That one is probably too thin, but again, whatever. This is just a test. And this is the reason that I don't like a super fine tip is because it's very, I guess maybe my hand's not steady enough. I don't know.
here is the finished doodle. I kind of like going over the lines twice, two, three times sometimes if it's a thinner pen just to kind of help it fill out a little bit more. And I think the black helped too. Kind of bring it together. Anyways, the pens are fine. I will definitely use them. I just won't be able to use them in my normal doodle stuff, but that's okay. Separate and apart from that, let's go ahead and test to see if these are water resistant. reach here. Okay. Luckily I have 97 bottles of water sitting on my desk at all times. Okay. See what the pigment liners do. So far nothing. We'll let this sit for a minute. I do want to see. No, those are not erasable on normal paper. So that's good. That was a concern. Let's just see for giggles those react. Those automatically do. So far those are good. Let's let them sit for a minute and I will come back and show you the final result. Here we have our final result. These are mostly dry and they did not run at all. This was water. After the fact I came in and I did another set with um, alcohol to see how that would work. And they did not run with alcohol either. Um, these never claim to be water resistant. So ignore this. I just tried it for the sake of trying it. Um, I will say I'm actually really surprised with these. I do a lot of mixed media stuff kind of um, outside and apart from what I do on this channel. I have microns and more times than not, they have run. I don't know if it's the gesso that I use or what, but I stopped using them for um, my any of anything to do with mixed media. If it goes in anything except a dry book, I don't put a micron to it because it's, it, it's not reliable to me personally. But these, I think I might give a shot because I'm impressed. And um, all the links for this stuff will be down below. These pigment liners down below, they're going to show as 849 because that's the thing I was sent to put in my video. But I did go on to Timu um, before I actually started this video. And right now they're 721. Um, the roller pens, they're listed down below for 499. Those are 424. Um, so I think they're a pretty good deal. I also use um, Stadler pigment liners, whatever you want to call them. Those are fine too. They're crazy expensive though, um, in my opinion. I do think that these guys, I have um, just some like black and white doodles that I think something like this would be good to kind of go in and add a little bit of color here and there, just so things pop a little bit more. So I think in the future, that's what I may use these guys for because my other pens are a little bit too thick, so that will work out well. Um, so I am glad that I was made to be wrong about those because I'm actually super excited. They're gonna go in my cup holder up here so that I can start reaching for those. I always kind of wonder if, um, you know, there isn't a brand on this, I guess STA, I don't, I don't know what that is. Are they rebranded into other types of pens? I don't know. That's just something that I was kind of thinking as I was sitting here staring off into oblivion, trying to decide what my final thoughts were on these. Um, 
I don't know. I like them. I would absolutely buy them again. Um, if you're into this kind of thing, I would suggest giving them a try because for $7.21, I mean, how many are there in here? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Less than a dollar a pen. It's a pretty good deal, even for the $8.49 that they're listed for um, in my description. So do with that what you will. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you could give me a like and maybe a subscribe if your heart desires, I would greatly appreciate it. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.